What's up you guys? It is Margo and today I'm going to be taking you guys along with my whole get ready with me routine for a beach day. I woke up like 20 minutes ago. There are a few things that I'm going to do to get ready to go to the beach with my friend Erica today. First, I'm going to shave, which obviously is very important to me if I'm going to the beach. I want to be nice and smooth. I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite shaving products. This video is in collaboration with Gillette Venus. I've been using Gillette Venus razors since the day that I asked my mom if I could start shaving. I remember myself and my two best friends asked our parents the same day if we could start shaving and we all got the same pink Gillette Venus razors. So this is literally a dream come true to be working with a brand that I've been using for the past like five years of my life. I am going to be showing you two razors and a shaving cream. The razors I'm going to be using are the Gillette Venus Swirl and the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide. After I do my whole shaving routine, I am going to do a really light makeup just because typically I wouldn't wear makeup to the beach, but I think we're going to be taking some pictures today and then we can pick out what I'm wearing and I will show you a little bit of my day. I hope you guys enjoy this get ready with me and let's go get some smooth legs. Okay, so I am going to start with the Gillette Venus Comfort Glide. On either side of the razors, they have moisture bars. And this line comes with either three or five blade razors. This one has three and it works really well for me. But if you have more hair on your legs or it might be thicker, then the five blade razor might work better for you. So I'm going to get my legs wet and start shaving. completely shaved and it was so fast so obviously this is a favorite for if you're in a rush because you don't need to use any shaving cream for your legs still to come out really soft now for the other leg I'm going to show you how I use the Gillette Venus swirl so what's really cool about this razor is it actually has a roller ball on it so it makes it really really easy to shave harder to reach places or around ankles or knees or whatever this is really nice because you don't have to like worry about your wrist. It kind of just does the movements and curving for you. This also has a moisture glide serum, but I still prefer to use this with shaving cream just so I get extra silky soft legs afterwards. This is my go-to shaving cream and this is the Gillette Venus with Olay Moisture. This seriously makes your skin so smooth. I always had that friend that had like incredible legs and her secret was that she used shaving gel, which Hello, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but we're going to shave the other leg with some water, the shaving cream, and my Gillette Venus Swirl. are literally so soft and especially this one smells really good because what scent do I have this scent is vanilla cashmere could you think of a better scent than that okay so now that you saw my shaving routine we are going to move on to makeup typically if I was just going to the beach I wouldn't put makeup on but I don't know if I'm gonna be taking pictures there or what I'm doing after so I just want to be prepared so I'm gonna do a super light summer look that I pretty much do every day. Nothing crazy, no eyeshadow, but I'm gonna be adding some color to my face. And yeah, let's get into it. I have my trusty makeup pouch, which my cousin gave to me, and everything I'm gonna be using is in here. So nothing crazy. First things first, I'm going to take off the makeup I still have on from last night because I'm very irresponsible and didn't take it off. So I'm going to be taking, is it, Meissler water. I'm not sure. I've heard like 10 different pronunciations for this and just wiping that on my eyes. I think whenever you put makeup on, you should be starting with a clean slate. No one wants some mascara on top of crusty old mascara. So since I'm going to be in the sun today, I'm just going to dab a little bit of sunscreen on. I love using sun bum. I think it smells really good and it's vegan. And this is something that I never feel bad about like putting on my skin, especially my face, because I know it's good ingredients and a lot better than some alternatives. Now that we have sunscreen on, one last preparation I'm gonna do before we start our makeup is just putting on 
some chapstick. I'm totally obsessed with the Sugar Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. This is from Sephora. So for some light coverage and just to even out my face, I'm going to be taking the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in Medium. Since this isn't full coverage and it matches my color really well, I don't have to worry about it being like perfectly blended in, which is super nice, but I'm still going to use a brush. This is a Sephora brush and it's number 78 if you're curious. I'm obsessed with it. Next, you guys know I love my bronzer. This is eyeshadow, but we're over it. I've been using it as bronzer for a few months now because it works super well and it's a perfect shade for me for the summer. And I'm pretty much just gonna be contouring with this and then blending it in with the brush that I did my foundation in. This brush is super nice because it's pretty much just like an eyeshadow blending brush for your face. So it really works everything in nicely. I'm going to take the Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff and put that just on the apples of my cheeks. I love this color for summer. It's so girly and cute. I love the way this looks, especially in the sun. I think it's so cute. Of course, you can't have a summer look without looking a little bit glowy. So I'm gonna be taking my Becca Opal Highlighter, putting that on my cheekbones, a little bit on the bridge of my nose, and my Cupid's bow. This, I just like to rub it in with my fingers so it just blends in really nicely. My camera died when I was finishing up my makeup, but all I did was added a little bit of mascara. Now for the fun part, I get to decide what I'm gonna wear today. So I just did some serious digging through my closet and I think I'm gonna wear this like cute snakeskin bikini today. I'm literally so much more confident because I know that my legs are so smooth. I know I'm gonna have so many questions about where this suit is from, but I got it about a year ago. And I don't know, I'm sorry, but I'm sure if you look up snakeskin blue bikini, something will come up. This combination is certainly a lot, but I'm kind of obsessed with all this animal print. So as far as a cover up goes, I think I'm gonna wear this. I'm probably gonna add some things last minute to my beach bag, but these are definitely my go-tos. I have my beach towel deodorant. I use Old Spice, I have for the past few years. I have, of course, my sun bum. I have Glossier Boy Brow because I don't wanna put any on before I go. I don't know if I'm gonna go swimming and we don't want eyebrows on my chin. So we're just gonna bring that. I have two pairs of sunglasses and of course I have my journal and my calendar. I know you guys think I'm gonna use my black bag for my beach stuff, but I'm really in the mood to use like a wick bag. So I'm gonna go downstairs and see if I can sort through all of the bags that my family has and try to find a cute beach bag for today. That was quite the success. So I'm going to put all my essentials in here. So cute. Okay, now you can leave. <laughs> Bye, ladies. Answer? Bye. See you later. Hey, do you want my ice cream wrapper? <laughs> no. We I forgot your vegan. My bad. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I certainly did because I got some really soft legs out of it. If you are interested in purchasing the razors or learning any more about them, I will leave links down below for somewhere that you can buy it. Pretty sure you can also get them at CVS and Target. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.